The pessimist sees difficulty in every opportunity. The optimist sees opportunity in every difficulty. Winston Churchill.
Hi everyone, welcome back to Hippie Hill Homestead. I just wanted to give you a quick update on the barn. I've been doing a time-lapse video of the barn build and I'll probably cut it off right here. This will be part one of several parts in the series. I just wanted to give you an update, show you where we're at, take you around, give you a, a quick tour and explanation of what I'm doing. I know I've had certain people come up here and ask me while I was doing things um, certain ways. So I want to show you in case you watched the time lapse and you had questions yourself. Hopefully I can answer them in this part of the video. And then in part two, I'll do the same thing. I'll do a time lapse of it and then I'll stop and do a video explaining what I've done, where I'm at and why I've done it. Uh, so let me go ahead, I'll grab the camera and I'll take you for a quick walk around. I'll give you a quick update. This is the lean-to. There's the main barn structure. There'll be another lean-to on the other side. Now the reason I built this lean-to first is because the last one I built I had to put the metal trusses up, all the two by sixes and the metal, off the of ladders. So this time I decided I would build the lean-to first. That gives me something, a platform to work off of, to put the other trusses up, put the two by sixes up, and then put the metal on. So on this lean-to, we're gonna have two offices. The one on this end will be my wife's, Christie's. There'll be a door, outside door right here. Mine will be on the far end. My office won't be quite as big. Uh, she has an eBay store and does sell stuff on eBay. So she needs more room than I do. Also, I'm gonna build a rocket mass heater right here for the winter time. I've put PEX tubing in the floor. I'll put a stainless steel boiler in the uh, rocket mass heater, and then I'll pump hot water all the way to the other end. On these six by sixes, another thing that I did was I put a two by six on the outside of them going up to the two by twelves at the top. On this side, once we pour the concrete in here, there will be regular two by four walls set on the concrete with plywood on the outside and metal on the outside of it, just like you would a house and then several windows all the way down through will have windows on it. On the inside of the barn, we'll have several stalls. Each one of these will be a 10 by 12 stall. Inside of the barn, same with on the other side, they will only be seven foot tall. And then I'm gonna put a loft on both sides on top of it. On the far end, I'm gonna build just a small workshop in there. We'll have a tack room right here but I'll have a small workshop with my forge in there to where I can do a little bit of blacksmithing with metal on all the walls and a gravel floor inside it. So that's where we're at today. Depending on the weather, you can see it looks like rain clouds, but I'm gonna start putting my post in for the other lean-to. Hopefully get that done this week, get this lean-to built on this side get the roof on it and then cut off all my six by sixes level. I set my transit up. You can see my tripod still in the center of the barn, but I've set my transit up and I've put marks on all my six by six posts level all the way around where I can measure off of them to cut my post off level. I'll shoot that one more time before I cut all the six by six posts and then I will start setting trusses hopefully next week. But that's where I'm at. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, like I said before, this will be the end of part one of the series. Thanks for watching.